Normally, in this time, we do a, an athlete spotlight um, of a, a up and coming a high school a prep athlete, girl or, or, um, or boy. But we're going to change that a little bit this time. And because we recently lost a legend in yeah. Polk County, a, le a legend in this country, a man who went by the name of Banana George, and I know you knew mm -hmm. him. Dear, Hank. dear friend of mine, yeah, very and, much. So. Uh, he was he was something special, wasn't he? He was uh, a phenomenal man. He he really he lived every moment to the fullest and. Uh, what a fulfilled life he had. He just continued to go and try new things and challenge himself. And he went bull riding when he was like 82 years yeah. old. And well, things like that. Just I'm, an amazing man and very, uh, very giving. Yeah. Uh, was uh, a great patron to uh, the American Water Ski Educational Foundation with large donations mm -hmm. that have really helped that organization and he did it for others as well so a very generous man. Well if you didn't know who Banana George was and, and as we said unfortunately we lost him a couple of weeks ago but uh, we were able to catch up with him a few years ago and then do a little feature here on Sports Central and we wanted to revisit that in honor of Banana George. Let's take a look at this footage we'll be right back on Sports Central. This is your old friend, Banana George Blair. That's uh, the formal situation at least. But uh, actually, I'm your very old friend, Banana George. And I'm here today to uh, fill you in uh, on the, my background. I have a big background because I'm so old and I've been busy all my life. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of friends and uh, uh, I can't tell you how happy my life has been. Came down to Fort Lauderdale and I found a, a ski school there by the name of Lyle Lee's Ski School. And uh, so I w walked over every day with my brace on and uh, and uh, uh, pretty soon, Lyle Lee himself came over and said, don't you, don't you want to join the fun? I said, oh no, I said, I'm a, I just had this terrible operation. I, I can't do anything now. He said, well, I've seen you get up and down from a chair. If you knew that, you can ski. I said, no way. <laughs> he said, yeah, it's a way. <laughs> and he showed me. And as soon as I got out there, I was a natural, he said. He said I was born to water ski. Uh, well, uh, of course, there's been magn all the changes have been magnified by the recent uh, housing boom here, and. Uh, uh, I've already made friends with uh, a few of the newcomers, and uh, by and large, uh, uh, they're people like me, and uh, they've fallen in love with this place just like I have fallen in love with it. Uh, being the water ski capital of the world, uh, it uh, has attracted uh, a lot of attention uh, around the world as a mecca for water skiers and barefooters, for example. Uh, right now, that is to say in October, in September, the World Water Ski, uh, the World Barefoot Tournament will be held in uh, the state of uh, Washington. And uh, three weeks after that, uh, there will be another tournament, which will be the 19th in a row, uh, of the Blairfoot Bonanza. And the Blairfoot Bonanza is a barefoot tournament, of course, but it involves the fact that uh, in my tournament, it's an endurance tournament, and, it's, uh, the, and the winner is crowned as the uh, Blairfoot, the uh, Barefoot Endurance Champion of the World. Polk County is the center of the world 
for water skiing and barefooting. <laughs> it's the center, it's the mother load. I like to be at the center of things. <laughs> and I, so I'm always touting Polk County, yeah.